The first total eclipse in almost a century to sweep across the U.S. from coast to coast inspired Americans to make marriage proposals, hold family reunions, take time from work to witness with wonder one of the cosmos's rarest phenomena and simply stand together and look up in awe. After weeks of anticipation, onlookers from Oregon to South Carolina whooped and cheered as the moon blotted out the sun, transforming a narrow band of the United States from day to night for two minutes at a time. And as Bridget Burke reports, it became, as people are saying, the most observed and most photographed eclipse in history. After weeks of anticipation, onlookers in the coastal Oregon town of Depo whooped and cheered as the moon blotted out the sun, plunging a narrow band of the United States into near darkness and colder temperatures for two minutes at a time. Donning protective glasses with cameras and telescopes at the ready, they sat on picnic blankets and brought beach chairs to witness the historic celestial event. I, I found it absolutely fabulous fabulous and I, I'm elated with the experience. I just, it just kind of tickled you and all over. It was wonderful, wonderful. And um, I wish I could do it again, but I won't ever see something like that ever again. So I'm really glad that I took the day off of work <laughs> so that I could experience this. Um, it's so strange, you know, Depot Bay is a small town. We we're expecting a big, big crowd. It wasn't nearly as big as we expected. Everybody headed east. Um, for the most part, it was it was very quiet. It was almost kind of chilling, but not. It was it was very it was interesting. When it actually happened, it, it when it just began, it sort of sparked in, on one side, and then everything went uh, dark, and you can see the halo, and everything. You know, you take the glasses off, and it looks like it's nighttime, and. It's just the corona was just hard to describe. I, you just can't translate through film. Just being here was great. And the way that there was just this, that spontaneous howl from everybody when it went dark, it was just like amazing, amazing. I'm very happy I was here. In Carbondale, Illinois, all 15,000 seats in the football stadium at Southern Illinois University were sold out. Its where eclipse totality lasted the longest in the U.S., although spectators were momentarily disappointed when clouds blocked out the view. As the eclipse made its way to the Atlantic coast, President Trump, First Lady Melania and son Barron stepped out onto the balcony of the White House to watch. The last time such a spectacle unfolded from one U.S. coast to the other was in 1918. Eight. In California, the eclipse was only partially visible, but still drew crowds eager to catch a glimpse of the moon passing in front of the sun. Once in a lifetime event, you won't see an eclipse like this, you know, anytime soon. Great event to come and visit. After weeks of anticipation, the sight of the moon's shadow passing directly in front of the sun, blotting out all but the halo-like solar corona, was expected to draw one of the largest audiences in human history. Well, my friend called me and he wanted to be here. Um, I didn't want to be here with everybody. It's really crowded here. I would have preferred to do this at home, but I guess I came here to be with people, to be like... and for everybody than to just be at home. A special Alaskan Airlines solar eclipse flight flew 1,800 kilometres from Portland, Oregon to intercept totality across the Pacific Ocean. One minute from mid-ecliptic, one minute from mid-ecliptic. It's the final countdown. Dun, 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 dun. Totality, totality. There it is. Uh, we've seen five before this on land in various parts of the world, and it's different by air than it is by land. Uh, it's an amazing sight either way, and um, we're, we were very fortunate to have the opportunity to, uh, to do this. Twelve million Americans live along the eclipse route, and many millions of others watched around the world via television and social media, making it likely to break records for the most watched event in history. For Checkpoint, Bridget Burke.